Welcome back to Tesh Kid Effects for another Apecoin price prediction update. And in this video, I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Apecoin chart, which at the time of this recording has continued to hold above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart, which is now acting as support for us to continue pushing even higher. We have also made a very significant high at around the $5.9 mark, which was so close to our next key area of resistance at around the $6 mark. We have also continued to to obey the additive structures where we have fully maximized our target areas to the lower side in the formation of these way 4 and I now believe that whatever we are seeing is the start of a massive bounce to the upside in the formation of these way 5 and before I get further into the technical analysis and also give you my next price targets here on the Apecoin chart to the upside in the formation of these way 5 first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to continue with the video here on the 4 hour chart by first giving you the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out where I'm expecting the formation of these way 5 and that is after fully maximizing our target areas to the lower side in the formation of these way 4 and in the formation of that way 5 which is an impulsive wave I'm also expecting to see a five wave structure to play out because of the impulsive nature in the formation of that with five. And over here, you can see that after making our low at around the $4.75 mark in the formation of that with four, we started this bounce to the upside, having that as the first wave to the upside, making a peak at around the $5.84 mark. And after seeing the high for that with one, we started this corrective structure in a move that has now given us the low for that with two. And using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave two between the fib level 0 0.5 and the fib level 0 0.618 which lies between the 5.3086 dollar mark and the 5.1762 dollar mark and it is within that target area that i was expecting to see the low for that second wave and after seeing the low for that second wave whatever we expected next is an impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of these wave three and this is now my primary scenario that i'm expecting to play out here on the apecoin chart and sketching out minimum target areas to the upside in the formation of that wave three by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave three at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 6.9169 dollar mark and that is the minimum that i'm expecting that wave three to the upside to do and for that move to also play out we need to continue holding above the 20 day ma have the support that we need for us to continue pushing even higher see a break above the six dollar mark which is our next key area of resistance and the moment we manage to break above that key area of resistance then i'll be expecting to see a retest continue pushing even higher and fully maximize our target areas at around the 6.9 dollar mark and once the wave three is in high is in then we can expect a bit of a corrective structure in the formation of that with four then continue pushing even higher in the formation of these with five in a move that should fully maximize our target areas to the upside in the formation of these with five to the upside and before i give you my next price targets to the upside in the formation of these with five which will be completed by these fractal with count five right here first uh, allow me to first give you a recap of what has been happening here on the long term scenarios where you can see that after making our lower low at around the $2.5976 mark we started this massive bounce to the upside of being the additive structures where you can see that I have this additive structure in red having the wave 5 making its peak at around the $4.6 mark and also completing the formation of a larger additive wave count 1 to the upside then we saw this corrective structure over here in this ABC corrective structure giving us the low for that larger additive wave count Two. then we started this bounce to the upside in the formation of these larger elliot wave count three in a move that has now given us a peak at around the 6.42 dollar mark and after seeing the high for that with three we started this corrective structure in the formation of a larger elliot wave count four and that's the reason as to why i believe that we are now seeing the formation of a larger elliot wave count five to the upside and sketching out its minimum target areas by connecting the trend based fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that with one then dragging the fibs to the high of that with three that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that with five at the fib level one uh, 0 0.618 and that is at around the 7.64 eight dollar mark and that is the minimum that i will expect that with five to the upside to do and once that plays out 
then we can term this whole structure right here as an even larger adiotrophic count one to the upside then expect another pullback in the formation of an even larger adiotrophic count two so that is what we can expect here on the long term scenarios and also taking a look at the indicators here on the rsi we are trading at around the 60 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices in the formation of that with three and also give us a break above the six dollar mark which is our next key area of resistance also taking a look at the mark we have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices in the formation of that with three so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated